now, though, it's not often that the world's top physicists are in the limelight, at least not the kind of international attention being directed today at a tunnel on the Swiss-French border. That is where an experiment has begun to recreate the Big Bang, the moment that our universe was born. It's involved firing tiny subatomic particles around the tunnel at the CERN laboratory. Eventually, they will collide with another set of particles traveling in the opposite direction. Christine McGurty explains. In the control room, tension was mounting. They've worked for decades for this moment to arrive. Time to switch on the most complex machine ever built. Three, two, <laughs> one, zero. Nothing. Yes, sir. Yes. And before long, the crucial signals come through. It's working perfectly and a new era in science has begun. I don't think it could have gone any better. We were expecting some trouble along the way and the fact that we managed to circulate 27 kilometers in something like an hour to an hour and a half I think is absolutely fantastic. The project is based in a giant circular tunnel 100 meters underground. Particles are fired round it in both directions at close to the speed of light. The head-on collisions will recreate the conditions moments after the Big Bang. In the primordial soup, scientists hope to find new particles and even new dimensions. And it all begins right here with a simple bottle of hydrogen gas. This is a replica. The real one is inside this high security cage. A lot of the equipment here is at a very high voltage. Now inside, the gas molecules are broken apart to produce a beam of tiny particles called protons. 100 million million protons a second are sent whizzing down this pipe into an accelerator and off into the Large Hadron Collider. But the powerful particle collisions could create black holes. So is there a danger they'll destroy the planet? I asked one of the world's most famous scientists what he thought. Collisions at least in greater energies occur millions of times a day in the Earth's atmosphere, and nothing terrible happens. The world will not come to an end when the LHC turns on. And the discoveries to come should provide new insights into our world. News.com, you can take a video tour of the main structure and see animations of all the experiments that will be uh, happening there. There's also one of the CERN scientists answering your questions uh, about what they are doing there.